Hey, good morning, guys. This is uh, Johnny Sunshine. Sweating my ass off in Florida. Soaking wet. Uh, this water heater I took out last week. And uh, it only lasted seven years. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to show you on this. I'm going to I'm going to dig this uh anode rod out. But you can see how deep it is. They don't make it they don't make it easy for you as a homeowner to do it, you know. And these things, this is what I'm talking about. You got to make sure none of this shit gets down in that tank. My Milwaukee battery operated. So I don't really care too much about getting any of this shit in this heater because it's garbage, but I just want to show you what, what you have to do. Alright guys, so I've got my my DeWalt electric impact driver. Uh, that thing's pretty deep down in there now. They used to be pretty close to the top, but uh, so what I'm gonna do is is turn this thing out. But you definitely don't want to. Once it starts to come out, you don't want to be spinning that. Thing. that damn so that's what that's what was left of the anode rod nothing totally eaten up eaten up i mean i'm going to try to take a look down there and see if i can even see the rod that the zinc was on but that's why this failed because there was no anode it was no sacrificial anode uh I may I may even cut the bottom of this off just to make this an interesting video. It won't take me long. Uh, I also want to show you how these brass fittings, these CPVC brass fittings on these dielectric unions, uh, they they don't corrode, man. So let me get my socket for that. See the inside of that? Nice and clean. No corrosion whatsoever. If these were copper fittings, they'd be fucking nasty as hell. For sure. No bout to doubt it. So, uh, anyways, I am going to cut the bottom of this heater off. Make it an interesting video. And, uh, we'll see what it looks like in there. What happened when, because the anode, like I said, it was on a well. 
it was on a well the anode rod probably failed two years ago two and a half years ago it looked like uh, the water in the pan was there for a while like this guy it may have been leaking while it was under warranty he should have made the call but uh, there was definitely some really nasty water in the pan so uh, I'm gonna cut the bottom of this thing off and get a look at it see see what it looks like hey guys see these valves this is a Sioux Chief valve this is what I used to use before I went to shock bites and uh, these things worked good they worked really good but the problem that I had with them what I found was that on the outside of a house the handle would rot and fall off so uh, I made the switch to shock bites on the main shutoffs for houses and and really have never had an issue so let me get this thing set up so I can cut it see the damage on the bottom of this water heater that didn't happen overnight this thing's been leaking for a while he should have made the call when at the first sign of water in the pan uh, he probably would have got a free replacement but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this with the uh, my tiger saw with a brand new Diablo blade in it for uh, automobile demolition is the name of it this thing does not fuck around excuse my language what's left of the anode rod she's a leaker she's a leaker let me get a flashlight guys we'll shine a little light in on there see what happened see what kind of see what kind of shit happened to this thing 
See how quick that Diablo blade cut through that water heater, man? They don't mess around. Nasty. What's this? That's the that's the uh, heat trap. Look at all the shit in the bottom of this fucking thing, man. Wow. It's leaking. I'm sure that leak is from that weld up there. The weld around the top. See how it's all all rusted out. That element was fucking all corroded. This one was all corroded. No signs of leaking from... Uh, no signs of leaking from the elements on this. I'm, I'm sure it was that weld up there in the top that that's, uh, failed. Because um, the whole thing's saturated. Uh, dip tubes in good shape there was a problem with the dip tubes uh, you know years ago they were actually disintegrating that was a big issue we had to replace a bunch of them but that's it the lining looks like it's in good shape but right there we're at that weld man seems like that's always a spot that goes so anyways it's uh it's a good thing to replace the anode especially if you're on a well if you have the ability to to put one of those electronic deals on uh, I've heard that they work good people other customers of mine who are on a well they bought it because they had rotten egg smell and that thing worked pretty good so a little bit of a, a lesson just sharing some information with you guys I hope you enjoyed it. You can see see where this drain valve is. Yeah, this thing was nasty. That's what's in your water tanks, guys. That's what's in your water tanks. You can actually see where it was leaking. This this is uh, I can't tell, but it's most likely up there on that right where I could see the rust was even was the worst spot. So, uh, it is what it is, man. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Thank you, Tiger Saw and uh, Diablo Blade. My uh, my impact driver. And now my rusty driveway. And my tailgate. Made it easy. Alright guys. That's going to do it for this. It's a Sunday tailgate talk. Uh, I've got a, an anode rod up here. I can show you what that looks like. Ow! Boom. So this is the anode rod. This one's actually aluminum for a medium water heater. Uh, I've always Tefloned them. I don't know. I never heard anything about, you know, not Tefloning it. Uh, pipe dope it, Teflon it. You want to make sure the damn thing's not leaking. It's the interaction of the water with the rod itself, not the conductivity of this uh, nut. I believe but I mean I'm sure if you took a brand new water heater apart you'd see that they either pipe doped it or Teflon it so they do sell if, if height is a limitation uh, they do sell these things that come in like one foot pieces a chain basically they got some eye bolts and you just fold it you know and you can put it in there a little more expensive but uh, if you're on a well, you might want to consider changing that out every three or four years at least. Learn how to do it yourself because if you have to pay a plumber to do that three or four times, you might as well buy a new fucking heater. 
you know it's gonna be about 150 175 dollars for me to come out and change an anode rod just because of the minimum one hour minimum and the trip charge so uh it's a matter of economics i guess but anyways guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i gotta get my truck straightened out i've got a lot of work to do next week i'm hoping i get the parts in for that three handle valve and i hope they're correct if not i'm prepared to put a new valve in there uh, mowing posi temp with the boo-boo plate a mowing boo-boo plate it just fits right on the uh on the valve body you don't have to you know put the boo-boo plate on and then try to match up the trim from another another trim pack on that it's one piece makes it very nice and easy clean uh caulk it in and it's not a big issue but get yourself some of them diablo automobile demolition blades i've got uh let me show you what i carry I've got these. I buy them on Amazon. Pretty cheap, man. Auto demolition or dismantling. I've got four inch or six inch and then these big dogs. Uh, but they last for a long time, man. You put one in your, in your, uh, whatchamacallit, in your sawzall, you won't have to change them out too often. I mean, I'm not in the habit of cutting the bottom off of water heaters too often, so, uh, anyways i hope you enjoyed this video uh thanks for watching i appreciate all the comments um it's getting hot down here man i'm absolutely soaked just from cleaning my truck look at this shit uh it's here man the heat is here all right guys enjoy the rest of your weekend Hey guys, uh, one last thing on this uh, water heater. Uh, after after seeing that, if anybody calls me about a water heater and they're on a well, I'm going to suggest that they buy a water heater with a 12-year warranty. Uh, it's worth the extra money. They're covered. Uh, 12 years is a long time, man. And if you get out 11 years and that thing shits the bed, you get a brand new water heater for the cost of installation. So uh, I'm going to put that out there for them. It's up to them whether they want to spend the extra money. Uh, but that's going to be part of the way I do business from now on, on houses on a well. Uh, it's important, you know. That thing was in bad shape for only seven years old.